Hey guys, and welcome to another Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Supernotus. Today we're playing Duel Master, the 1991 Sega release for the Mega Drive. Uh, this is kind of a side-scrolling fighting game, uh, and you're getting an idea of the storyline of it there. Essentially, we're to stop the Demon King Jardin the Mad, the Kingdom of Mythgard. Uh, in order to do that, we have a variety of magical powers that we'll use. Um, and yeah, until we reach the Demon King, Jardine. The Twelve Masters of the Elements rose up, so we have to find, uh, essentially the, 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 the way the game works is as you walk through it, you'll pick up uh, magic rings, and you can combine those magic rings to make a variety of magic powers attacks, and other things which I'll explain to you as we get to it. Uh, in the options menu, uh, we can adjust the difficulty of the game. Um, let's do it on hard, because why not? Uh, you can also go through the, the music now. You can listen to the music if you like. Now, interestingly, the, the soundtrack was produced by, um, or composed by Motoaki Takenuchi. Um, and if you have a look at some of these song titles, it might seem like he has some, uh, he has some interest in certain progressive rock bands. And the reason I say that is because, well, if you know progressive rock music, that, close to the edge, is the title of a song by the band Yes. That is not. <laughs> that is not. That could have something to do with Rush. That's nothing. That is also a Yes song. <laughs> uh, let me just remind myself. That's nothing. I, I that's the title of a Yes song, I should say. That uh, potentially King Crimson. And yeah, so there's potentially that is also a Yes album. So it seems like the composer for this game may have had some influence uh, by, yeah, progressive rock bands possibly. Well, it is a fantasy game, you know, kind of went hand in hand at the time. Well, let's get started anyway. Let's stop talking nonsense and let's get on with the game. I'm playing with Infinite Health. And that's kind of all that matters. So right now we have two rings. We have the barrier magic, the ice based. So yeah, there's 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 four different types of rings. Uh, the blue one's kind of ice magic, from what I could see. The red is obviously fire. And as we get more, you'll get a green one, which is kind of earth based magic, and a grey one, which deals with um, more abilities that we can use to traverse the landscape, shall we say. What better way to find out than by me just showing you, by doing it, I suppose. Uh, essentially, yes, we have to combine the variety of elements on the rings to get where we're going. And it does become quite important. So there we go, we've got another ring. This is, if I replace that, it gives me a speed boost. Uh, if I put this here, I get a different ranged attack, which will actually be quite helpful against some of the enemies. Because obviously the standing attack there will be quite useful against, against close range enemies. That one might be better against things that are flying around, or things that are in the distance, or things that are behind barriers. So yeah, the barrier magic uh, that you have initially with that with that blue one, I, I don't see any real use for it when I'm playing like this. If you're playing it obviously regularly, then yeah, you probably could find a sort of shielding spell quite useful. But for now, it's not drastically important. Okay, 
the stone guys. As we move on. There's elements of this that kind of feel Castlevania-esque, like those things shooting things. And again, it's not it wasn't uh, new. It wasn't kind of exclusive to Castlevania that particular function, was it? Obviously it's going to be easy for us to get through because we're playing with infinite health and things. Um, but you know, here's a chance to have a look at the game. It gives me a chance to play a game that I might not have otherwise done particularly well with as well. Of course I should be using this ranged attack to take them down because then I don't have to worry. So there we have a little guy. That little guy doesn't really give us anything. I don't know why. what the point of doing that was. Well, I do. Uh, it's because you have to do it. I mean, you know. <laughs> that's the reason. As you walk along here, what's going to happen? Well, clearly that statue's going to come to life, right? Also, this attack's much easier to hit that tiger with. Hitting it with that fire attack's pretty difficult, timing-wise. But at least with this, you can kind of just stand here and shoot at it repeatedly. Until it's gone. So this has given us a green ring. We're about to finish the stage. So if we want, we can now put that with that. And that gives us an ice dagger, so we can shoot like a, a kind of bolt of ice in front of us. If we wanted to, we could combine that with the um, fire attack, which would give us what's called a fire wall. So you could put the... well, I'll show you, it's the easiest option, isn't it? There's that one. So now I've got fire wall, which means I can do that. Never tried. I didn't try combining fire and that. Doesn't give you anything. One nullifies the other. The speed up I'm not too concerned about, but as we pick up more rings it becomes more useful. As you'll see shortly, you really start to see the need for those uh, in the next part of this stage. I think it's this stage. Yeah. Um, so yeah, an interesting sort of uh, mechanic, it, uh, not the first and not the last game to use that kind of thing of combining magical items, of course. But done fairly well, fairly smooth flowing game, not nothing difficult about it in terms of flow. Uh, obviously it's, it's just kill the sandworms. Uh, if only they hadn't been written into June, maybe people wouldn't be putting them in prog related uh... see that's the other reason why I think that there's definitely some prog rock influence because a lot of those types of bands did tie in with science fiction and fantasy novels whether it was uh, Michael Murcock's Elric series with the likes of um, Deep Purple and others I believe You know, Lord of the Rings, obviously. Can't forget that one. So, you look for rings, and you can move on. Now here's where these rings can become quite useful. Because if I combine that one, and that one, I get a high jump and I can now make it through the stage. The trouble, of course, is that means I can't use my ranged attack for now. But that's not necessarily an issue. Because a lot of the attacks, a lot of the enemies we're facing here anyway are close range, so it's not a major problem. So that's an example of what the grey ones are capable of. There's also a double jump option with those later on. 
kill this. Because it's there. Well, that is what some kind of thing would... I think, that would... I think that's obviously some kind of upgrade. So here we have like a skeleton that's in bits floating around us. We need to destroy the bits in order to progress. Should destroy all of his uh, appendages before we can kill him. Come back. Come on, you're just ahead now. Not how you get ahead. Sorry, I uh, had, to, had to say it even if it was a terrible joke. There we go. Problem solved. Just clear out some enemies while we're here. And keep moving. as simple as that. We're not the fastest moving person, it has to be said. Very, very slow motion. There's no doubt about that. And now here we've got tiny little Godzillas. Or should I say that? They might get in trouble. Oh wait, it was uh, 30 years ago. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure no one's going to say anything now. It's like a Godzilla with wings. Next, oh, I like a. Oh, okay, I'm gonna change my. Um... Oh wait, that would be useful normally. Uh, in fact, I need to buy that and that. Just stand there doing this. Actually, do you know what the better option is going to probably be that one? Well, it's a bit awkward. The wave option really does seem to be the best one to deal with this Phoenix type thing. Da, da, da. Not particularly difficult to deal with again. None of the bosses really are on, <laughs> you know, with me doing what I'm doing. There is a better uh, ice attack, which we'll get to eventually. But obviously not right now, because... Well, it is like that ice wave thing, the the, the kind of semi-circular thing there. Uh, as that improves, it becomes a lot better. Obviously, as it improves. <laughs> it's a silly thing to say, isn't it? Okay, so, I've got a better fire ring now. Pop those together. And keep moving. So now we've got a wider arc. Our fire attack. Much better. Oh, I'm sliding down a mountain. It's not a problem. We're now walking on the sea, so you know. Apparently, this guy can walk on water. But he can't. Uh 
create a party out of a handful of fish, unfortunately. Oh, that's why I know we're on the sea. Unless we're just on the shore. Could we be on the shore? I don't know what this thing is, some kind of creepy guy. I don't really know what kind of creature that's supposed to be. But we dealt with it. Uh, there we have an ex the next level of that, which changes our ice dagger into something that bounces. And as they improve, they'll change into something that shoots all over the screen. I need the high jump here though. Gets us through the stage a lot better. A lot more easily. lot more easily. Take the shortest route out of here. Which is not that way. Actually it is, because that's the end of the stage, believe it or not. This is the actual boss of this stage. Not a particularly tough one to defeat. Just bombard its face whenever it pops out. With attacks. Until eventually, he dies. Like so. Probably the easiest boss in the game, I would say. Very probably, in fact. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do now is just change back. That wave attack's probably a bit better. So many possible combinations of things you can do here. I mean, not, lim not limitless possibilities, obviously, but a few possibilities. solved with that one. Easy. That's going to collapse. We're going to go down and face a boss right here. Still a boss. Next. Don't know what those things are. Not particularly difficult to deal with, whatever they are. Let's get rid of them now that they're in range. Obviously it helps that we're... Uh, Let me show you something else. So now that I've got slightly better weapons, I've now got a double jump. So that'll get me across all of that. Or now that I've got better rings, should I say. We can go this way. little thing to do, you can now double jump, which is helpful for getting across all this lava I suppose. Now obviously I, need, I can change my weapon mid-battle mid too, so if I want to now go, oh well I don't need that anymore. Now use this instead. I'm 
which is a decent enough attack, especially as this thing doesn't move. It just sits there, waiting for you to pummel it. I haven't shown you the earth-based magic, but I have to fight this again. Because it's not ready to give up quite yet. Even though it should know that it's dead. Just stand and shoot straight up in the air almost with that, although sometimes it comes to your side. When it does obviously just change to shooting to the side. And disintegrate him in one shot. Not one shot obviously, but a series of shots. So here we are. The next stage. This is the castle of old Jardine. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to just try out. That's a good idea. Because I need the. I also need the double jump in this stage. Yeah, that's definitely a, a useful attack to be using. That should save us a bit of trouble. And this will get us across the stage. The double jump's needed in just a moment, and you'll see why. And that attack just flattens everything in one shot, Look. So that one's good. Right, so the next step... You can go up there, but you can't actually get anywhere going up there. Although, I don't seem to be able to do it right now. It doesn't really matter anyway, because what we have to do right now is this. And get across. Just duck that, I don't know why I bothered, but you know. Don't want to get hit by it anyway. The only trouble with this attack is it doesn't really work very well for stuff that's above you. I'll say that, I mean it works, it's just a bit slower to do it. Now we've got like a weird caterpillar thing here. Which I don't actually think we can hit with this attack. Okay, let's change that up. I'm gonna make that... Let's make that that and then that should work better. So that's the split ice dagger. Um, where you can obviously attack a few things at once. Now we're going to drop down here, and as we do that, we're going to fall through there to the ground. No big problem. Because you're supposed to do that. Until we find a way across. Obviously, uh, if you're playing that normally, you'd have to be quite quick to get through that section. Because if you're not, you would be in some trouble. And once you do that, that gets us across. Obviously, that's where we fell down. And crossing here gets us to the next part of the level. Not far to go now. Just go on that. Float straight up. You can mess around for a while if you want in the in the level. But this is the quickest way to get through it. I believe. I could still be wrong. I'm pretty sure this was the way I, I went to get there quickly. Could be wrong. I don't think I am. Uh, well, I'm, well, there we go. I don't know why it took so long for that to... Uh, it's like a sub-boss. 
type thing. Again, just uh, shoot at it. Doesn't have any rings for us, unfortunately. Not that we're desperately in need of any more, you understand? Especially as this is basically the end of the game. We're about to reach the Demon King. What was his name again? Because I've forgotten. His name is Jardine the Mad. They, uh, they forgot to give him... Oh yeah, but first we have to go through all this. We have to fight a variety of enemies. Statues, specifically. Elemental Masters. There'll be another one just along here. There we go, see? Again, just keep shooting. It's really straightforward. This one I don't think even attacks you. Or, or if it attacks similar to mine, so I can't tell. But it doesn't look like it attacks you at all. And the next thing we do is climb. Can't quite jump high enough to do that, but... High enough to get through quickly. So now there's two more statues. There's an earth-based one next. That just kind of creates an earthquake effect as you're fighting him. Which makes it a little slower to fight him, actually, because whenever it does that, it seems to take a while to recharge your next attack. But again, it's fairly light work. Nothing too difficult. Next is this one. Again, just the same again. It launches like these, these attacks that go past me. But it looks to me... Oh no, it is going through me. I was going to say it looks to me like I'm not actually being hit by it. But I was. And here we go. I'm going to change my loadout of attacks right now because... This is, this is where we meet our old friend. He doesn't do a lot either. His range of attacks is fairly limited. He's going to stand there. He's going to turn into a mask. That mask is going to jump around. It's going to shoot a metal ball at us. And it's going to come back to the ground. It has a very specific range of attacks. Turns into that. You can't you can't do it any damage any damage when he's in that form. So your best option is just to wait until he comes back. But it's easy enough. He drops one. Uh, he drops one metal ball and then turns back to the wizard. Metal ball. Float over my head, back the other way, wizard. You see? You're a wizard, Harry. Now what? Stop again, no point wasting, tie wasting button presses on an enemy you can't harm. It takes a little while to beat him. He's, he's definitely one that takes the most damage before he dies. Just continue to batter on him until he's done. Pop back here. that too if you want. I mean, it doesn't really make any difference how you attack him. Shoot him in the head, shoot him in the legs. I don't know. Do what you like, you know? Do what you feel.
And stop. Let him shoot the ball at us. Yes, Jardine, you will go to the ball. Still need to wait, hold off for a minute. Come on then. Come on then, what are you doing? His, his, his back's against the wall. Oh, he's stuck, look. He's actually stuck in the wall. And he's dead. That's it. The Demon King Jardine the Mad. Destroyed. Decimated. Beaten. That's all that really matters, right? There's no mention in history of the battle waged between the Jewel Master and the forces of evil. Why not? Why did they not mention it? Because they didn't want to tell anyone about the Demon King. Is that why? Who knows? I've got some pictures that flow by. But nothing... I mean, do they think that... People are reading very slowly? You can't actually skip this either. By pressing start or any of the other keys. The legends do speak of 12 magical gems and an ancient kingdom that flourished in peace. Yes. I see. I think. I think. Why is it so slow to move to the next bit of what's going on? Of the the storyline at the end. I feel like you could have read this about ten times by now, right? Easily, the picture's not even changing. Such is the stuff of legends. So they say. They do. They do say. Oh look, it's a castle on the water. I kind of want to see what this is. And credits. I never would expect. I mean, that, that's a pretty good way to finish it. It's one sentence. Does it? I don't know why it has to stay on the screen for 10 minutes. <laughs> it's not quite 10 minutes, is it? It's nowhere near 10 minutes, in fact. That's great. The music stopped. That would tell me that we're about to reach... the end credits? No? Maybe there are no end credits. Maybe it just freezes on the screen forever. Give it a few more seconds. See if they decided to tell anyone who they are, who made the game. It looks like no, it looks like they didn't. It just goes back to the beginning. There we are, guys, then. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed watching more Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Supernatus. And I hope you've enjoyed Jewel Master. If you have, please feel free to hit that like button, maybe add a subscription too, and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.